It's Halloween 2023, and every year for Halloween, at least for the last few years, we've been doing a Halloween private stock event. Today is a preview of everything that will be available on the private stock page of the website, ashlandleather.com, tomorrow. That's October 25th at 4 p.m. Central Time. It's a little bit of a different time than normal. Last year, we did some special Halloween-themed wallets that Miranda made and Danae made, and those wallets were inspired by the movie The Shining, and they turned out really great. If you haven't seen last year's video, definitely check that one out. We're going to start off with this wallet that Miranda made. We're calling this one Bugging Out. A little bit of a Halloween theme here with the red bloodshot eyes. And all of this is made with leather. In fact, this leather on the outside is tumbled cigar shell cordovan. And I think we have some latigo on the interior. This green part in the center is reverse black shell cordovan. I really like this concept. And I was surprised each day that Miranda dropped one of these on my desk. Every day I walked in and had a new fun thing to laugh at. This one was absolutely mind blowing to me. This is our Bugs Moran wallet, which is why we're calling it Bugging Out. And on the interior, we have some more reverse black shell cordovan with black shell cordovan. Here's another great creation by Miranda. Incredible, incredibly talented team uh, in the Ashland workshop here. We're calling this one Spooky Cat. And it's got this black cat with sort of inlaid uh, black shell cordovan on top of this marbled ultraviolet. And then underneath all that, so it's overlaid on top of this yellow latigo for the stars and the moon. This is our Vic snap wallet that has also been hand stitched with some yellow thread. We've got some hand stained edges. I'll give you a look at the front where you have more of that marbled ultraviolet. And as this Vic snap wallet, of course, snaps closed, you get a look at what this will appear like as it comes out of your pocket. It kind of looks great this way as well as on the back. And to cap off the more obviously Halloween themed items, we got the Frankensteins. In fact, we've got two Frankensteins to show you today. These are pieces of tumbled marbled shell cordovan. They're sort of this green shade. It's, it's almost like Coke bottle green at some angles, other angles a little bit more forest green. And then we've stained the edges sort of like a, a blood red kind of color. It's a little bit more orange and tan in person. And I love this concept to make it a Frankenstein themed wallet. So we've stitched together these different pieces of shell cordovan, but we also intentionally beveled the edges of the wallet to make it a little bit inconsistent to make it a little bit more monster feeling and i think it turned out really really well here's a look at the back side of frankenstein number one we have another one here like if you look at the back side of frankenstein number two we've got a scar along the back side on this thumb notch card slot of course those inconsistently beveled edges and then the front another two pieces of marbled, I believe this is marbled black shell cordovan that have been sort of Frankenstein together. And we have a couple new wallet designs in the private stock event today. We're gonna start off here. I'm calling this the tall vertical Bugs Morans, just like our normal Bugs Moran card holder, except on the inside, we have three card slots on each side with a hidden card slot underneath each of those sides. So a little bit taller than our normal vertical Bugs Moran with one additional card slot on each side. I think this is a really great concept because a lot of people have been asking us for the vertical Bugs Moran and they wanted maybe just one or two more cards to fit in there. So I'm, let me know what you guys think about the tall vertical Bugs here. On this wallet, this is a really dark piece of intense blue shell cordovan. It might appear black at some angles in the video, but I can tell you this is a really dark navy blue shade. And on the interior for those vertical card slots, this is natural shell cordovan. Up next is another tall vertical Bugs Moran. Lots of words on this guy. This one is in raw denim shell cordovan. Really nice blue shade. And then of course we have the orange hand stitching going all along the outside of the wallet. There is something magical about the orange hand stitching that sort of works with just about everything. Here's a look at the interior of this one. We have those three card slots on the right, three on the left, and then hidden card slots underneath each. This is raw denim on top of reverse blue shell cordovan. Up next is another one. This time is in the beautiful piece of brown cypress. This is a new-ish leather from Horween. I think at the beginning of this year, 2023, is when this cypress leather first came out. And I really love this brown shade. I've been carrying a blue Cypress wallet myself, and it's very resilient. I love the new Cypress leather. This is a combination of that brown Cypress with teal. And I think these two colors go very nicely together. So we combine it on the inside with alternating card slots. And one more tall vertical Bugs Moran. Lots of words, I keep messing that up. This is another blue leather, but this time it is Cobalt Blue Dublin, a little bit darker than the Royal Blue Cypress leather. On this one, we have a teal color stitching. And then on the inside, of course, they've got it upside down. We have English Tan Dublin. It's a beautiful piece of English Tan Dublin used for the inside of this wallet. And we got some more new stuff. Check this out. It's like our Frank the Enforcer. 
except we added a skip stitch on the side. And I'd be very curious to see what you guys think about this one. I think this is going to be a great addition, additional option for people to choose just to get cash a little bit more easily inside and out of this guy. So the leather on this one is Lizard Texture Shell Cordovan in two different colors. We've got Violet Shell Cordovan and Ultra Violet Shell Cordovan alternating on the front. And then on the back, we've got the same concept. We have made two of these. So this other one here is Violet on the bottom, Ultra Violet on the top. And here's some more Halloween stuff. I love the way the epic splatter looks on the Fat Herbie because we get a very large context of all that random die marks. So Fat Herbie, this is a wallet style that I choose to wear, best wallet for the back pocket. And this is unintentional splatter that the tannery has put onto the backside of the leather. It was not intended to be finished for this side. In fact, it's intended to be finished inside of here. So if you look at the shell side inside the bill slot, this is color eight shell cordovan. We've got all these random drip marks on the backside, which we think look really cool, maybe a little bit spooky for Halloween. We also have a Horween USA measuring machine stamp on the top. And on the inside, you can see we've got more of the Epic Splatter. And I should correct myself because this is Garnet Shell Cordovan in the center. So we've got one in Epic Splatter Garnet and then one in Epic Splatter Color 8. You can see the color is a little bit darker in the center. Let me give you a look at the exterior of this guy. Great splatter and of course a great Horween Shell Cordovan ink stamp. Another spooky texture. I don't know, maybe it's not so spooky. It kind of reminds me of fall harvest, maybe because of the color. But this is the Western textured English tan Dublin leather on our Capone money clip. I love the look of this texture on the Dublin because it really accentuates the depth of color in the leather. You can see a little bit lighter, more orangey tan shades on the undertones. And then the surface, of course, is a little bit of a darker brown. And we've got some Johnny the Foxes to look at. This is our most popular wallet style. It's a very traditional bifold, which I think is why it is so popular. So this one is all reverse black shell cordovan. You'll notice that the black shell cordovan that you can see in the inside of the wallet, the reverse side of this leather is very green. It's not black at all. So I know this can be a little bit confusing, but the backside of black shell cordovan tends to range in color. It can be a little bit lighter like this. Sometimes it can be a little bit more forest green. Either way, we like to cut it because we think it looks interesting, but the reverse shell cordovan also ages and accumulates a very nice patina just with normal use. And you'll start to see this leather become darker, more golden brown, but it also increases in luster. So you can see it's a little bit more of like a matte finish to start, but as this leather is worn, it becomes very bright and shiny. Here's why these are private suckers. We've cut the Horween measuring machine stand onto the insides of each of these. So this one is Horwin USA, 2.2 square feet is what I believe that says. And this was measured on December 28th. So this might be some leather from almost a year ago. Up next is a beautiful Johnny the Fox. Something magical about this piece here might be one of my few stunners of the day. Tons of great stuff in the video. On the exterior, we have black shell cordovan. Something magical about this piece of black shell. But what's even better is the garnet shell cordovan on the inside. Check out how nice that is. And these are great for me to see selfishly because it's so rare to find naturally thin pieces of shell cordovan that are required for the inside of this wallet. So when we get a rare color and a rare thickness, it's really special to see. We're not able to make very many of these. And I love the combination of those bulls, the Chicago bulls color, black and garnet. Here's another special piece. I guess I'll start with the inside. Speaking of rare shells, whiskey shell cordovan on the inside of this Johnny the Fox. A little bit darker, a little bit more golden when compared to the natural shell cordovan, which is a little bit lighter and more vibrant than the whiskey. Seems like most people prefer the whiskey shell cordovan. We just don't get enough of it. And I don't think the tannery produces enough of it to uh, satisfy everybody. On the exterior here, I believe this is tumbled color number four shell cordovan. I could be wrong about that. If it is something else, it's just a in between sort of child. The reason I want to call this color four is it sort of has the essence of color four that as I understand it. And color four shell cordovan is a medium brown with reddish undertones. So I will spin this around for you and give you a sense of this here. I can see why we paired this with the whiskey on the inside because it is sort of like a mild, lighter brown shade. And we have a couple more giant the foxes to look at. Beautiful pieces of garnet shell that are in our private stock collection right now. It seems like garnet shell cordovan for whatever reason, just has an incredible luster. Look at this right here. This is exactly what you want to see on shell cordovan. Bright, shiny luster, super, super smooth, and then a rich hand feel. It should also feel very smooth as well. And this leather was actually called mirror goods back in Germany about 200 years ago, which is why it has that mirror-like shine. 
Here's a look at the inside of this one. We have lizard textured garnet shell cordovan with natural shell cordovan for the top card slots. And here's another Halloween sort of fall themed wallet. Cigar shell cordovan on this giant the fox with orange stitching. Again, there's something great about the orange stitching. This is a machine stitch, so it's not as bold and chunky as the, uh, the hand stitching that we looked at earlier. Let's look at the interior of this one. This is what I love, the combination of cigar and reverse cigar on the interior. We've got a great Horween shell cordovan ink stamp cut thoughtfully out throughout the top, and then a gold foil baby Ashland stamp on the right. We've got a lot more to look at. We've got some vertical Bugs Moran. Let's look at the outside of this one. Lizard textured black shell cordovan, and on the interior, some color eight shell cordovan with lizard textured black. This one is hatch grain shell cordovan, and this is the amaretto color on the outside. And then on the interior, we have alternating hatch grain blue and amaretto. Another one along those same lines, except this is the traditional layout on our Bugs Moran. So you don't have the vertical slots. These are the traditional slots. I find this to be a little bit easier if you're stacking more than two cards for each slot. I just find it to be easier to get the cards in and out of. We have another raw denim shell cordovan piece here on the Bugs Moran with contrasting cream color stitching. On the inside, we have alternating card slots with raw denim and reverse blue shell. We also have that gold foil baby Ashland stamp. Here's another one of my stunners. Violet shell cordovan with a hand stitch on the outside. This is a teal color hand stitching. We also have one with a violet hand stitching to match a little bit better. I like the contrast of the teal though. Here's a look at the inside where we have reverse ultraviolet shell cordovan, that sort of pink color. And while we have it, we'll show you the other one, violet stitching, hand stitching for this Bugs Moran. And speaking of vertical slots, we have some vertical card slots on a Tony the Ant. We don't do this very often. So Tony the Ant is just like the Bugs Moran, except it has a bill slot on the outside that will fit US dollars uh, without folding them. Some taller notes, like I think some of the taller pounds stick out the top, uh, just a couple millimeters. So we don't necessarily recommend this for bills that aren't about the size of US dollar. This one is all blacked out. So we have a black hand stitching on top of the black cordovan. We have black hand stained edges and then the black vertical slots on the interior. Another stunner, a lot of stunners today. Marbled blue shell cordovan for this Tony the Ants. I'll give a spin for this guy just so you can see the range of color. It gets a little bit orangey and tan at some sections, a little bit more blue and green at other sections. Here's a look at the interior. I was noticing in my photos that I took of all these wallets that this one did not translate very well in the photos. So I'm gonna take a little bit of an extra second to spin this around. This is Western texture on the reverse side of Epic Splatter Blue Cordovan. So if you look in here, this is the blue shell that we had with Epic Splatter and then the tannery embossed that Western texture into it. I think this looks super cool. And I don't think we've seen one just like this before. Let's look at the inside. We have combinations of Western texture. So this is Western blue on top of Western reverse epic splatter blue. And we have another one in the marbled blue shell cord. And this time it is the tall tone of the ants. I was mentioning some taller notes stick out the bill slot section on the normal Tony the Ant. That's why the tall Tony the Ant here was designed. We have the bill slot that extends all the way to the top that will accommodate every paper currency in the world. Let me give you a look at this marbled blue shell cordovan. Some really great depth of color. Here's a look at the inside. And this is an absolute stunner. I love the way that this one looks. Here's another vertical Bugs Moran. This time we have blue cypress on the interior with lizard ultraviolet on the outside. And here's the fun one, another vertical Bugs Moran and the new shrunken bison leather from Horween. We have blue on top of bourbon and this leather is called Yellowstone from Horween. What's special about this one, in addition to the blue Yellowstone on the outside is we have an additional exterior card slot on the back left. Here's another vertical Bugs Moran. We know you guys like this one. This has maybe the nicest shell on the backside, but let me show you the inside first. Black lizard shell cordovan alternating with color eight shell cordovan on the left and right. Beautiful look, and take a look at this shell. This is some of the nicest shell cordovan that I've ever had. This is color number eight shell cordovan, and this piece is a little bit more cherry red than most of the shells that I've come across for color eight. Sometimes that color does vary slightly from batch to batch when the tannery's making it. I actually kind of like this shade a little bit more than the normal. And I'm gonna take an extra second to spin this around so you can see what I'm talking about. It's a little bit more cherry red where most times 
the color HL cord vin does not have this much red to it. Here's another wallet with the orange hand stitching. This time it is a three shot card case in cigar shell cord vin. We have one card slot in the front, one larger section in the center, and then one card slot on the back. And let's have a look at some Frank the Enforcers. We've got a couple here. The first one here is natural shell cord vin. And these are five slot Frank the Enforcers. So we have one, two on the front, one, two on the back, and then one card slot in the center. Let me show you Epic Natural side by side with the normal natural. You can see the difference in the texture on the Epic Natural Shell Cordovan. This is exactly why we call it Epic. It's because not every piece of shell is exactly like this one. And then I have a couple special 1940s calfskin five slot Frank the Enforcers. So two card slots again on the front, two on the back. What's great about this leather is how thin it is. So if you're a more of a minimalist kind of guy, then this is probably the leather you want to choose because it will lay very, very flat in your pocket. Let me try to show you and demonstrate the difference in thickness. You can see just how thin the 1940s calf on the, on the left is when compared to the shell cordovan. One more Frank the Enforcer to show you. This time it is the vertical card slot Frank the Enforcer. So we have two card slots here. There's a hidden card slot underneath there. One large card slot in the center. And then the back, we have a quick access card slot. And this is a beautiful piece of shell. I believe this is marbled blue shell cordovan. Another piece here in the Western English Tan Dublin. This is our Vic Snap Wallet. I have to mention it again. This texture really brings out the color in all the leathers, and I love what it does on the English tan. We have a couple minimalist card slots here. These are our one-shot card cases. This kind of looks like the psychedelic shell cordovan, but I believe this is the reverse side of marbled blue shell cordovan. For some reason, it came out this shade, which is really, really wacky. And then we have a blue hand stitching along the outside. There's another Western texture for that fall sort of Halloween theme, black shell cordovan with a pink hand stitching. We're in the thick of football season here. So here's a key fob loop in official football leather. Believe it or not, football is actually this red color. It's not brown. We also have a couple watch straps in this private stock drop. These are 22 millimeter watch straps, so a little bit more rare. You're gonna wanna check the lug width on your watch to make sure that these will fit uh, your 22 millimeter lugs. Most watches that I come across, seems like most people have 20 millimeter watches. This one is a denim blue shell cordovan strap, but I also have a very beautiful piece of marbled black shell cordovan for this 22 millimeter strap. And last but not least, we're gonna end it on my favorite wallet. Again, a beautiful piece of garnet shell cordovan for this Fat Herbie. Although this time we have combined that garnet shell with some denim blue shell cordovan for the center. And then on the inside, we've got some more of that tumbled, I believe this is color four shell cordovan, with a nice Horin measuring machine stamp in the center. Tons of great stuff. I can't pick a favorite, but I'm gonna come back to this guy so he can just look at me. Hopefully you enjoyed the Halloween wallets in the video today. If you're interested in picking up one of these private stock wallets, they'll be available tomorrow, October 25th at 4 p.m. Central Time at our website, ashlandleather.com. Let me know which of these was your favorite. Maybe it was the cat, maybe it was the eyeball, maybe it's these Frankensteins. All of them turned out super great. Until next time, hope you have a good one and take care.